Hey, I'm Shawnee, and I have social anxiety. And I'm gonna film a video while I walk through the hallway. My apartment is full of people, and there's nowhere to film by myself. I haven't made a video in a little while because my life's been kind of unstable. Let's say that. Let's say unstable. My mental health has kind of gone down since the last time I talked to you guys, like way down. When I say it went down, I mean, I haven't been doing so well guys. And so basically I haven't been motivated to make a video until now. And the reason I was motivated to make this video was because I had a pretty bad evening. I don't know what this video is about. Um, okay, so I went to kind of a party at a friend's house. Oh, I think the train's coming. No, it's not coming. Just kidding, whatever. Weird noises happen here. I went to my friend's house. The train is coming. Ah, look at that. Anyway, so I went over and I don't know, just this particular time, like, have you ever been around a group of people that you felt alone? I felt kind of like left out of most of the conversations and I don't know, I just didn't really feel like I was a necessary addition to the group, if that makes sense. Or like I needed to be there or like I was even wanted there. And I know a lot of that probably isn't true and most of it was probably in my mind, but some of it probably was true. I don't know how to explain this. Here's the point. Okay, my family moved again, um, but we haven't found a permanent place to live yet, so we're staying with my grandma. Guys, I'm not gonna film out here. I feel too scared that a person's gonna walk around the corner. Let's go find somewhere else. This video is going so well. Um, okay, so I'm back in the bathroom. Can I find the restroom? Yes, but you can come in, cause I'm just filming a video. So this is gonna fail. Next, try the closet. Let's sit, shall we? So I'm just gonna film a video on a day when everybody's not here, and I promise it won't be as crazy as this one. But before I end this video, let me update you on my life. It's February right now. The beginning of 2016 has not gone very well. All throughout January, I was very depressed. As you guys know, I suffer from a few different mental illnesses. Social anxiety slash selective mutism, clinical depression, and a third one that I have never talked about before, ever. It has to do with food. But basically, like, all of my problems have kind of gotten worse, like, over the last few weeks. My depression has gotten pretty bad. I feel depressed, like, every day now. Um, including right now. My social anxiety is pretty much the same. I'm still taking Prozac for that. I don't know how to articulate what's in my mind. I'm usually so good at that. So, sometimes when my, I guess you'd say, mental state is in a really bad place, like it has been the last few weeks, I resort to self-destructive tendencies. You may or may not know what I mean. I have unhealthy self-destructive thoughts and I become a self-destructive person. Kind of like a bomb that's gonna go off, but I'm a human. So more about that in the next video when my entire family can't hear me talking. This has been really great, guys. That was sarcasm. I will see you next time and my thoughts will be much more organized and I won't be walking around the apartment system and you'll be able to see me better and life will be good. Okay, bye. Why are you so quiet? For as long as I can remember, people have asked me different variations of the same question. Why are you so quiet? Why are you so shy? You don't talk very much, do you? Friends, strangers, Co-workers ask, I've grown to expect these questions. I've grown to hate these questions. These questions make me cringe.